Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. For today's Vlogmas video, I'm going to be doing a little nursing student gift guide for Christmas edition. And I'm actually doing this video in collaboration with Cam. We both came together and came up with 50 things that we thought would be great gifts for nursing students with various price ranges. And I'm gonna do 25 and she's also gonna do 25. So after my video, be sure to check out her video as well. Also, I normally don't film from this angle, but the lighting today has been crazy weird. So that's why I'm filming from this angle. And I have Shamu behind me literally clawing at my sweater while I film, so. Shout out to you, Shamu. This video is gonna have some like really cheap stuff, maybe for like stocking stuffers or just like little filler presents. And then it's also gonna have some more expensive stuff. So I thought I could just like mix it up in there. If you have a nursing student in your life, maybe it's your boyfriend or girlfriend, or maybe a family member or close friend, but something in here should hopefully work for you. Everything that I mentioned in this video is going to have an Amazon link or some other type of link down below. You can check out anything and everything I mention them by clicking in the description for the links. Okay, so to start it off on the cheaper side one of the things that I thought of is badge reels so these are some examples of badge reels that I have this one is like a pink flower this one has stitch from Lilo and stitch and you can clip your badge to it these come in so many different styles there are some that are like little organs if they have like a specialty they're interested in or they already work in a certain specialty that would be really cute or if they have a favorite TV show or favorite color it's just a fun way that you can express yourself especially when you're wearing uniform scrubs so Badge Reels is the first cheap one. The second thing on my list is compression socks. So the nursing student or nurse in your life is gonna be on their feet a lot, especially at clinical or at work. So compression socks are awesome. They come in so many different patterns. Why? <laughs> Shamu, no, you can't name right there. You're gonna scoot back, you scoot there. You can sit there. My favorite color is pink, so I have so many pink compression socks. My favorite is the Cloves brand, which I'll link down below, but you can also get these on Amazon or literally anywhere. These ones have like black polka dots, this one's solid black, and this is another fun way to get to express yourself when you're wearing a uniform. So I love wearing fun compression socks. So this next gift is definitely on the more expensive side, and I'm totally aware of that. Um, this is the like holy grail of stethoscope brands. So um, the Litman stethoscope is definitely on the Christmas list. You might have seen this before if you've ever been in the hospital or you have a friend that works in healthcare. This stethoscope in particular is the Litman Classic 3. And honestly, this is like all I've needed in nursing school. In the NICU, they have their own NICU stethoscopes most of the time. So there's really no other reason to get anything more intense or specialized than this one but I got mine in pink. But yeah, this is definitely on the more expensive side, but they will use this literally forever and it would be super meaningful if you gifted them their first stethoscope. Okay, back to like a cheaper stocking stuffer kind of gift. Your nursing student is going to be studying super hard. So a really cute gift idea is cute tabs. I have these glittery sparkly little tabs that I like to put in my books. I also try to like theme my books. So for example, my pediatrics course, I themed my notes with these polka dot tabs. So I have these like purple ones, the blue ones and the pink ones. And it correlated with every exam that we took with purple being the final. And I did a similar thing right now throughout my OB course with these sparkly tabs. So those are always a fun gift idea because most of the time your student is going to get the most generic tabs and these are just a lot of fun. So I love making my study materials aesthetically pleasing. That way I have a little bit of color to my life when I'm sitting in the library all day. The next thing on my list can be either cheap or expensive depending on how you make it. And that is the really obvious one, but scrubs. So at my school, we can wear whatever scrubs we want to class and to labs, but we have to wear our uniform scrubs to clinical. So when they go to class, they'll have something fun to express themselves with. There are lots of scrub options like this one on Amazon. These are just some plain blue scrubs. And honestly, they are very good quality still. Um, you can get like matching sets on there. This one in specific is the Cherokee Workwear Revolution brand, and it's in a size small for reference. I'm 5'4", but I wear a size small on them, and these are really cute and really comfortable, and they have like the jogger style pants too, if you're into that, because I'm into that. So 
Amazon scrubs do come in clutch. And then if you're looking for like a more bougie set of scrubs, my boyfriend's parents got this for me last year for Christmas. And I wear these whenever I'm trying to like take nice pictures or like maybe for interviews and stuff like that. I have these really cute pink scrubs. The brand is called Janu, Janu. It's J-A-A-N-U-U. -U. But these are really cute. Um, they have the jogger style pants as well. They're super flattering and I really like wearing pink. So these are definitely much better quality than the Amazon ones. They have this like side breathable material going on. They're super, super soft. I wish I could show you guys, but I can't. Um, and they're also very stretchy, which is nice. And then the jogger pants just are a lot more flattering than like normal scrub pants. They have this like cinch down at the ankle. So yeah, I love Janu or Janu. I'm not sure how to say it, but their scrub material is so good. The next thing on my list is something that I don't actually use, but a lot of other students really like them. So I thought I should include them in this video. And that is headbands. I'll put some pictures like up here, but they even have like the kind where you can put your mask on the button of the headband that way it's not like bothering your ears because i know some people are pretty sensitive to that and also it's just a really cute way to keep your hair back so if you're with somebody who likes wearing a lot of headbands those are really cute and they're also a fun way to add your personality into your uniform the next thing on the list since your nursing student will be studying all the time are a good pair of blue light glasses you can get them at like target or order them on amazon or you can even get like prescriptions from some people these are the ones that I like to wear. They are green and they are from Tain Eyewear. I can also link this down below. This was my very first brand deal I've ever done in my life. And honestly, I love these. I personally picked the green ones because I thought they were fun. And yeah, these are not prescription. I'm wearing my contacts right now, but a prescription set would be really cool too. And going along the glasses line, these are also so helpful to have, especially if you're going into labor and delivery, because I use these in the labor and delivery unit all the time and they are godsends. So these are called stoggles and they are goggles for healthcare workers. And they're like more cutesy, like glasses. So you don't have to have the ugly science goggle looking thing going to you. They have these side panels so that nothing gets in your eyes. It does the same thing all the way around and they come in all these different colors and you can also get them prescription as well. I didn't, these are non-prescription and I just wear my contacts whenever I'm on the labor and delivery unit, but those fluids be going everywhere. So they are literal lifesavers. I can't tell you how many times I was thankful that I was wearing these because yeah, it gets kind of crazy. So these are really great, especially with COVID and stuff right now, even if they don't work on a very bloody unit or just fluid prone unit, they will still benefit from them because a lot of people have to wear them in the hospitals when going into COVID rooms. So these are great gifts for that reason. They can be more expensive if you get them prescription or you can also get them for cheap by just getting the straight up plain goggles. The next thing on my list is a set of highlighters. My highlighters are all over the place. I have some in my jars, some in my desk, some in my backpack, but you guys know what highlighters look like. But basically, I just recommend getting a good set of highlighters because they're gonna be using them all the time to highlight all their material. I like to color code mine too, so I'll do like pink for your exam material and then blue for the next exam and then like purple for the final. That way I can remember what was on each exam and kind of prioritize where I like struggled more and stuff like that. I also sometimes will highlight in different colors when I'm in lecture versus when I'm in tutoring versus when I'm studying. That way things that I noticed were important every single time will have an overlapping highlight to them and then I know that it's important for the exam. So that's just like what I like to do. Um, but highlighters in general are very useful for nursing students and I use them on the unit as well when I'm highlighting important lab data on my patients. And going along the highlighter line, Expo markers and whiteboards are also very good gifts for nursing students. Can't tell you how many times I used a whiteboard to write down everything that I know about a topic and see how much I remembered and then erase it. Or my friends and I will use them to quiz each other on material. At UTMB particularly, we're allowed to have our whiteboard with us when we go into exams. That way when we're doing our math, we can write it on the whiteboard and then erase it. All right, back to another more expensive bougie type gift that you can get for nursing students. 
are shoes for clinical. So when I started nursing school, I stayed on the very cheap side and I got some $35 Amazon chunky white filas, which served me so well for clinical because we did have to wear white and it was really great. They were really great shoes to use, but they weren't necessarily made for healthcare workers. So for that reason, sometimes they got a little bit dirtier or they just weren't as comfortable as like hospital shoes can be. So my favorite brand of like healthcare worker shoes are Cloves. And yes, they do tend to be a little bit more expensive, but they clean super well. Um, I got blood all over mine last week and I was able to just wipe it down really quickly and it all came off perfectly fine. I'll go ahead and show you guys the pairs of clothes that I have, but they come in so many different colors and styles, and they also have all white or all black versions if your nursing school requires that. The first pair of clothes that I got were the limited edition Electron Rose clothes. So the bottom has this pink ombre looking thing to it, and then the top looks like this. My favorite thing about clothes is that they're slip-ons, so you just have to pull this to put them on, which I think is so much more comfortable than laces and they're also so easy to clean so you just wipe them down these are the pairs that actually got disgusting last week and i was able to clean the whole thing that's why i'm comfortable touching them with my bare hands right now but they are super cute and they also are like very stretchy one of the problems that i have with my feet are i have really like skinny feet but they're long so i would get like a bigger shoe size and then tighten the laces so hard that it would start cutting off circulation but it was the only way to keep them from like wobbling in the shoe so I really like that these are stretchy because I can tighten them really tight, but I'm not gonna like cut off circulation in my feet like I would with laces because these are like stretchy material. The second pair of cloves that I got were actually gifted to me by cloves themselves, but this is not a sponsored video. They are the core collection, so you can get this exact pair right now, but they are just all pink in their and pink is my favorite color, as you guys know. So I really love this pair, but the bottoms are pink too. They have this little gray side to them and they're made the same way. So they have this stretchy little band right here and they go like this. I typically wear a shoe size eight, but I did get nines in my clothes because I don't like it when my shoes feel really tight during the day, um, especially when I'm at clinical because you're on your feet so much. So I actually got mine in a size nine and they're a little bit loose on me, but honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, so if you know somebody who's like me and likes to have their shoes a little bit roomier, I would recommend doing that as well. Okay, the next thing on my list, I also don't have like an example to give to you because mine are actually dirty and I need to wash them, but it's a pair of under scrubs so you're gonna need these literally all the time because the hospital gets so cold and you can't always wear a jacket because that can get pretty gross so undershirts for the scrubs are a very good way to go especially because for me at least my scrub tops go like pretty low down on me and whenever I'm like bending over a patient I don't want like everything just kind of hanging out there so I always wear a top underneath whether it's a long sleeve top or even just like a tank top crop top to wear underneath it's always good to have extra coverage um, I just ordered a package of them on Amazon and I have the link for those as well down below but basically it's just to keep you warm while you're on your clinical shifts and not expose yourself entirely and it's also important to be able to roll your sleeves up so if you're in a unit like the NICU where you have to have your sleeves rolled up so you can clean your whole arm to hold all the babies then you're able to do that with your scrub top okay the next two things on my list are things that I don't actually own but I've seen people use them in the hospital and I think that they'd be really cute stocking stuffers but they are mini sharpies that you can put on your badge so like this is my badge and they're little sharpies that you can clip I'll put a picture of them right up here but you can clip them to your badge and use them at clinical that could also be like a highlighter or a pen or a marker or something like that but I just think that they would be so useful to be able to pull them off and use them while you're there I can't tell you how many times I've run around units especially this semester while we're filling out like baby card names and stuff on the OB units I never have a sharpie on me and I always have to go digging around the unit for one so I feel like that'd be a really cute gift idea and the other thing are little cheat sheets that you can put on your badge so I don't have a cheat sheet on my badge but you can put like little conversions on there or like assessment assessment tips and things like that. I will link a collection as well on here that I've seen other students use. Whenever people are trying to figure out what gauge needle to use or some like weight conversions and things like that, 
they have it on their badge already so it makes it really easy for them so that's another great stocking stuffer idea okay this next one is also another holy grail type item for nursing students but it is the comprehensive review for the NCLEX RN exam and it is the Saunders one this is the most recent addition to my understanding it's the eighth edition I don't think there's a ninth but maybe there is so double check that but this is like the NCLEX book of NCLEX books I recommend getting it at the very start of your program because then if they want to use it throughout their med search courses and stuff like that then they're able to practice NCLEX questions while also studying for their normal exams. So it's a really good gift idea for nursing students. It's not like the most exciting thing. We don't love textbooks, but books tend to be expensive. So it'd be a nice gift to alleviate the NCLEX book cost. I can't say the same for exact course textbooks because obviously every school has different textbooks and they have access codes and things like that. But rest assured, you'd be getting them an NCLEX book so that when they graduate, they can rest in peace knowing that they'll be able to pass their NCLEX. The next two gifts are more of stocking stuffer type ideas, but Starbucks gift cards, you can literally never go wrong with a Starbucks gift card, especially because your nursing student's gonna be drinking a lot of caffeine and maybe they're gonna also wanna cram and study at Starbucks, so it's a good gift for them. I'm personally not like a big coffee drinker, but I've gotten a coffee a few times or I'll get like even a blueberry muffin or something like that in the morning. So it's a really good gift idea for students. And the second one is just hair accessories. So some students like to use little hair ties like this one. I am personally a huge scrunchie girl. I literally have these all over my apartment. I have them on my desk, in my bathroom, in my backpack, in my YouTube bag, because I wear so many scrunchies. But whatever it is that your nursing student likes to wear, we have to change our hair all the time. Usually we're not allowed to have it down like this. Sometimes it has to be all the way up on top of our heads in a tight bun. And sometimes we can have like a ponytail, but basically we have to throw up our hair in different transitions and it's just great to have a hair tie on you in case you need them. I know claw clips are really trendy right now too. I feel like my hair is a little bit too long and big. I have really curly hair, so it doesn't really work all the time for me, but it looks really cute on other girls. So if you know that your nursing student likes to have claw clips, those are definitely cute accessories for sure. The next idea is one I actually found on TikTok, but it is a night shift clip for your scrubs and it has like a little magnet that holds it onto your scrubs. I'll put a picture of it right up here, but it's really great for night shift workers because whenever they go into the patient's room, they don't have to turn on the big lights and they can just use their light for assessing an IV site or charting or giving meds. They don't need to turn on the big bright light and they can just use that instead. So I feel like that'd be a really good gift for a night shift worker. I actually just started on night shift, so I've seen some of the nurses use them and I actually told one of my nurses is about it last week and she got one and now she's obsessed with it so that's a really fun gift idea as well they're really small but they're nifty and you can use them for a long time the next item on my list is actually the most popular item I've ever had on my channel but it's my backpack and the second that I showed my backpack people freaked out and started asking me for the link for it like every day some of my friends have the exact same backpack as this because they saw me take it to school it's so easy to clean and it's really cute but it is this backpack by Bagsmart is the brand. I got it on Amazon, but you could also get it directly from Bagsmart. But it is this like waterproof material. So when you take it into the hospitals and stuff, it's really easy to clean, which I love about it. And it fits so many things. Right now it's like a huge mess, but I wanted to show you guys some of the pockets anyways. So it has this like front pocket. And for me, I put like hair ties and tampons and stuff like that in this pocket. And then it has this next one that has little cubbies in it. Right now it just has some scrunchies, like I mentioned. Um, it has a mask, it has some hand sanitizer. Sometimes I'll throw like smaller items in there. It has a water thing on both sides, which I can't tell you how many times I've taken two water bottles or I'll take a water and a Coke or I'll take something like that. So it's so nice to have two pockets for that. I don't know, it's, just, it's the little things y'all. And then here is the top pocket and it's like the kind that opens on the top. So it literally can fit so many things in it. Right now I have several textbooks in here and I have some highlighters, I have Clorox wipes, I have a big hand sanitizer, some chargers, I have my pencil case in here, I have my whiteboard in here. Literally I have so many things in this thing. 
my iPad, my chargers for that. I have some Expo markers and pencils and all of my ATI books. So it's pretty filled right now. And usually I also have my laptop and my camera stuff and all of that in there too. And it all fits with no problem. So I love that backpack. I honestly recommend it to anybody who is a nursing student or literally anyone in general. It's a really good backpack. I got it on Amazon. I got it in pink, but it also comes in black and maybe some other colors. I'm not positive but it's been a super useful backpack. I totally recommend it. The next thing on my list is Kish masks. And I know you can use like any mask ever, but my favorite brand is Kish. And I also have a discount code for you in the description for it. This video is not sponsored, but I do have a discount code for you. So check it out in the shopping list down below. But the reason that these are my favorite masks is because they are super soft and breathable and they also like don't make me break out i don't know about you but whenever i wear like the paper masks sometimes i get like acne from them and i can't stand it. it makes me so bothered so i like wearing the kish masks and for whatever reason they've just been a lot more gentle on my skin i do have very sensitive skin so maybe it's that but i just love those masks so much i have some pictures of me wearing them i'll put some up here but i just think that they're really cute and i love wearing like cutesy masks when i can obviously on the units and stuff i have to wear like the surgical masks or an n95 but whenever i have the option to in class and in labs and stuff like that i love to wear more comfortable and soft masks and why not make them cute while you're at it and then the last gift is one that i don't have but i've seen people with them and i just think they're super cute especially if the bell of their stethoscope isn't engraved it's a great way to personalize your stethoscope but they are these little stethoscope charms they go like right here or you can put them right here or literally wherever you want at the end of your stethoscope i'll put some pictures up here but people make them on etsy or sell them on amazon and they're really cute you can put someone's name on it you could put a cute message you could just put little sparkly detailing on it and i just think it's a really fun way to personalize your stethoscope since you do have this out and about on your neck or in your pocket or whatever and people are gonna see it so it's just like a really fun way to accessorize your stethoscope and i just think it's a really cute gift idea that's all i have on my 25 list cam has another set of 25 nursing student gifts that you should definitely check out on her video so be sure to check hers out i will put it at the ending end screen you can click on hers thank you guys so much for joining me if you tried any of these products and you like them let me know down below or if you buy anything from this list i would love to hear about it but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow for more vlogmas if you watch this whole video comment some snowman emojis down below and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more vlogmas. I will be posting a video every single day until Christmas, so I'm super excited about it, and I hope you guys have a very happy holiday season. Bye, I'll see y'all tomorrow.